What's going on guys? Today in this video, we're gonna be talking about lenses. Now me personally, I don't own a ton of lenses, but the amount of lenses that I do own is kinda crazy to some people. Some people only own one lens. Some people think one lens is enough to get everything done that they need to do. They don't care about any other looks that they can achieve with other lenses. So I'm just gonna show you all every single lens that I own and I'm gonna break down why I have the lens and the different looks that I look to achieve with that lens. The first lens that we're gonna go over is this lens that we're filming this on right now. Now this lens is fairly new to me. I've really only had it for not even a whole week yet. This is the Leica 12 millimeter F 1.4. This is a Panasonic lens, this is native. And like I said, I just I just bought it. So I can't really show you all too many examples of it, but I can tell you all why I got this lens. So my whole reasoning behind buying this lens is just to vlog on. I wanted to have like a really cool look while I'm vlogging. And you can see in the background, it has like a really nice fall off with the depth of field that it can achieve with the 1.4 aperture. So that was really my whole reasoning behind this. I had the 12 to 24 millimeter Lumix lens and it was a cool lens and it was a great all around lens, but I didn't really use it on the long end of the lens. So I was like, why not just get a cooler lens? I figured this would look a lot cooler for my vlog. So let me know how this looks. This is a cool lens though. I'm testing it out still to really give my whole verdict on it, but I like it so far. Next lens that we're gonna get into is the Sigma 18 to 35. Now, you guys know all about this lens. This is like one of my most used lenses. This is definitely my most used lens for sure. I use this a lot on my music video production and I just use this a lot when I'm using a Ronin. Now, the main reason that I even purchased this lens and the main reason that this lens even gets so much use is, is versatility. I use this on a gimbal and before I had this, when I was using a gimbal, I would have to take off the lens and then I would have to rebalance the entire system to put another lens on. This is just like all around. I could shoot at 18 millimeters to get a wide shot. I could zoom it to 35 to get a semi close. It has a nice aperture range and paired with the Metabone Speed Booster, it goes all the way down to like what, a 1.2, 1 1.4, I'm not sure. But this is an amazing lens. It's a really good all arounder. So the reason why I got this is its versatility aspect and uh, yeah, I use this for pretty much everything that I do. As crazy as it sounds though, I kind of want to get away from using this lens. That's kind of like, wow, but I use this for everything, which means that it gives everything a similar look and I want to branch out and use a lot of my other lenses for different things. Another reason why I want to get away from using this is it's a very sharp lens, don't get me wrong, but the primes that I own are just way more sharper than this. So I feel like I'm kind of sacrificing a little bit of quality that I could have just for the convenience aspect of this. So. I don't know, just keep that in mind. This is an amazing lens, don't get me wrong, for the price, solid. You can pick this lens up right now for like 600 bucks. Think about that. Like, the lens that I'm filming this on right now is like 1300 bucks. So, half the price, more versatility, you do the math. The next lens is the Canon 85mm f1.8. Now this lens doesn't get as much use as it should be. It literally just sits in my bag most of the time. My whole reasoning behind buying this lens was just to do photography on it, but this is also an amazing lens for doing film as well. If you shoot at extended focal lengths, you can really separate the subject from the background and it just gives a different bokeh aspect to it. It literally separates them 100%. It's like, I don't know, I can't even explain it. You shoot at extended focal lengths, you get a lot of compression between the subject and the background. It's just, that's just a whole nother subject for a whole nother video. This lens is amazing though. I use it a lot for photography and uh, I don't use it as much as I show on music videos. I think the main reason that I don't though is because it has a really awful focusing distance. I'm not sure specifically what the focusing distance is. I know a lot when I'm trying to use it though. I have to take a step back because the lens just won't focus close up. So what I wanna do is, and what I'm looking into getting right now is the 100 millimeter by Canon and it's a macro lens. So it'll be extended and I'll be able to focus pretty much anywhere. I like to sometimes get super close ups and it just doesn't, allow me to do that. So this is why this doesn't get the use that it should. But this is still a great lens for the price. It has a really nice aperture range. And if you're even remotely into photography, this will be amazing for portraits and just photography in general. The next lens that we're gonna get into is the Sigma 35 millimeter F 1.4 R. Now, this lens right here, is literally my favorite lens that I own. For a few reasons, for a few reasons. 35 millimeters just happens to be my favorite focal length. I don't know, I love the way it looks. I like how it's kind of close, but it's not too close. And then when you pair it on full frame, you can actually get a little bit closer, get a lot of depth. I feel like 35 millimeters is just amazing. I love the look that it gives off. Now this lens, you pair with the great aperture range that it has, the build quality, the sharpness from the photos, from the video, everything that comes from this lens is fire. This lens is amazing, I love this. This is definitely my favorite lens that I own. I use this for photography, video, a lot of my photos that I take by myself for products and stuff on the desk or whatever. 
taken on this. Tino owns one of these. Tino only owns one of these. So pretty much every single picture on my profile that he's taken is from a Sigma 35 millimeter. So this is a great all around lens and uh, it's a amazing lens amazing lens for pretty much everything 35 millimeters on this lens looks so much better than 35 millimeters on this lens mainly because this is a prime primes tend to be a bit sharper than zoom lenses but i don't know man this i don't know i can't even explain it this lens is amazing i love this lens real quick before we get into the next lens i want to give a shout out to the sponsors of this episode the lovely people over at squarespace now if you have no idea what squarespace is it's the all-in-one platform for pretty much everything relative to websites they have domains they have website templates it's just a good place to be if you're interested in creating a website squarespace is an all-in-one platform so it's no need to do any back and updating for the templates that they provide you don't have to go in and you don't have to know any coding it's just an easy place for people who are trying to get started in the online world with websites on top of that they provide 24 7 customer support so if you find yourself in a jam and you really don't know what's going on you can just hit them up on the chat and they'll hit you right back. So if you are interested in bettering your online presence with a website, head over to squarespace.com right now for your free trial. And you can also hit up squarespace.com forward slash Imogen for 10% off your first purchase. Let's get back into these lenses though. The next lens that I own is this 50 millimeter F1.4. This is the USM version. And I've literally had this for years. I've had this since the T2Y, I've had this since the 7D. I went through the GH4 with this lens. I literally keep this lens in. I love this lens, I love this lens. I literally love this lens. As for favorite lenses that I own, it was literally a toss up between this and uh, the 35 millimeter. A few reasons that I love the 50 millimeter, this one specifically, it's just the look that it gives off. I'm really becoming a huge fan of like extended focal lengths, this, the different depth that you can get from them. It's like wide shots are not really doing it for me personally anymore. I don't know, I feel like telephoto is just where it's at, man, if you want to get beautiful shots. I love this lens though. I used to use this for everything. It doesn't get as much use anymore because I've just been being lazy. Uh, but this is definitely coming back into play soon. I lent this lens to see Ryan for one of his shoots one time and uh, he dropped it and broke the lens and had to get it repaired. So this lens has literally been through it all. I love this lens, get this focus back. If you don't have a 50 millimeter, you should definitely get one. You can get them for fairly cheap. This one right here is a little bit more expensive, but the 1.8 version will do just the job on Canon. Pretty much every single company has a cheap 50 millimeter option. You should definitely always have one in your bag. Hold on real quick, I gotta go get the next lens. The next lens is in this box. I'm gonna explain why, hold on. <laughs> Oh man, almost dropped the lens, hold on. The last and final lens is this little small tiny guy. This is the Lawa 7.5 millimeter F2.0 lens. Now the reason that that lens was in a box is because I gave it to Creative Ryan and then he went home and it literally sold his GH5 and then it was like he had no use for the lens. So sent it back to me and now it's back mine. So yeah, I got this back. But this little lens right here is very unique. For one, it's super small. You can see right here in comparison to my Sigma 18 to 35, just how small it is. Like this lens is tiny, super small lens. It goes all the way down to a 2.0 aperture though. So it's wide, but it's also shallow. So this could be a really good low light lens. I've used this, the only real use that I've gotten out of this is using it for vlogging. I said I don't really like wide angles anymore, but this, really is just a vlogging lens for me. I used to vlog on it, I vlogged on it a little bit, uh, but one of its biggest downfalls is it doesn't have the image stabilization. And when you pair with the in-body image stabilization on the GH5, it's kind of weird. I don't know, it's like it it does some weird things. So I don't know, this, this lens is very unique though. It's small, it's wide, it has a good aperture range. And uh, for the people who are into wide angle shots, this is probably a good lens for you. Like I said, I don't really like wide angle. And I really got this lens right here to do cool looking vlog things on. This might be a little bit too wide for me. It's also a manual lens as well. That doesn't really matter on Lumix because the autofocus sucks. So I don't know, man. Those are my lenses. Now to wrap this up, I'm gonna answer the most asked question that I get all the time. What's the best lens? It's no best lens. The best lens is the one that fits your scenario the best. So say if I was out doing a vlog, the best lens would probably be a wide lens to make sure that I'm captured and I'm in the frame and it's not super zoomed in on my head. If I'm shooting a music video and I only have one lens, so it would probably be like the Sigma 18 to 35 just because of the versatility aspect of it. If I was out doing portrait photography, it might be a 50 millimeter or the 80 millimeter. 
Like I said, it really all varies. It's no real best lens. I think if you are looking for a lens to purchase, just weigh out the options and think about what specifically you're gonna be using it for and how much use is actually gonna get. And the reason I say how much use is actually gonna get is because we have a thing for forming needs for ourselves. We see a really cool video with someone doing some macro shots and you think like, man, I need this lens or maybe somebody shot a really dope vlog with the super wide angle lens and then we see it and it looks amazing and we think, man, I need that lens. You know, just us as people, we create needs for ourselves. So think about how much use it's actually gonna get. I can't tell you how many things I've purchased personally off of the instinct and inspiration from other people that just sits in the basement and collects dust. So purchase what you actually need. Purchase what's actually gonna get used. A rule of thumb for me is if I'm only gonna use this one time for this one thing, I probably shouldn't purchase it. I should probably rent it. Renting lenses is always a really good option as well if you don't have the money to purchase them or you think you're just gonna be needing lenses for different things. So take all of those things into consideration before you purchase a lens. It's really no best lens. It's only a lens that's gonna more so suit you in the scenarios that you're gonna be in. Let me know down in the comments though, what's your favorite lens and why? If you all enjoyed this video, make sure to drop me a like, comment, also subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Peace out guys.